All right, here we go, BFit Nation. Welcome back. First off, happy Monday morning to you all. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday morning. Welcome in, settle in, grab that towel, grab that water. We have a great resistance based workout for you today. All right, welcome to BFit Live. Another motivational Monday, another chance to focus on ourselves, focus on our strength, dial in on our progress week by week, all right, as we continue our training to stay active, to stay ready, and to stay resilient, okay? So once again, BFit Live, where are you joining us from? Let us know. Drop us a note in the comments below, all right? We'll make sure to read them as we go through the workout here. First and foremost, though, let me welcome my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Ray. I'm good. I do want to disclose, though, I'm a little sore today, so I'll give it 100%, but might not be my own, my typical 100%. <laughs> and that's no problem. What's great about our workouts here is we're able to challenge ourselves by our own comfort level, but uh, as we are sore, maybe from the weekend, maybe from activities during the week, we can kind of shake that out throughout today's workout, start off slow and gradually progress with weights with our resistance training as we move along through the program. So if you're new to BFIT Live, welcome and welcome, okay? So <clears throat> with our programming for today, we are focus on, focusing on resistance training. So if you have any dumbbells uh, like you see behind me or uh, Sergeant Barry, if you have anything with a handle, if you have anything to help challenge yourselves with some of these movements, let's go ahead and grab those now. Um, if you have a mat, we may not need it, but we are on the floor in a high plank position for one movement. So it may be comfortable on your hands or on your wrists, depending on what type of flooring that you are under. But go ahead and grab that as well. Get settled, settled in. You do not need a lot of space for today's workout, but we are focusing on resistance training. So take these movements nice and slow, nice and controlled. Really think about the muscle groups that we are going to work for today's movements. So speaking of timing for today, our timing is going to be 40 seconds of work. 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds, giving us a little bit of extra time to recover and really dial into that next round, okay? 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds to complete our workout, okay? We will have a quick uh, dynamic stretch session right before to get our bodies ready to work, and then we'll jump in to the workout. But before we do that, let me go over the four movements that we're gonna go through today. So that way we know exactly what to uh, <clears throat> expect through each round, as well as taking, taking away any cues that you may find helpful to execute any of these movements. So for exercise number one, we have a goblet squat with a pulse. So we're gonna grab that dumbbell of choice. Okay, we're gonna grab it from the head of that dumbbell or the sides, depending on, but we wanna keep our feet Shoulder width apart here, a soft bend at those knees. We wanna go ahead and grab that dumbbell here, hold it from the head like so. Elbows are gonna be tucked in close to the dumbbell and right underneath our wrists for the most support. Keeping that chest up, that head up, <clears throat> we are gonna push those hips back and down, lowering in a controlled movement into that low squat, right? Okay, wherever that comfort level is, if it's 90 degrees to where your knees are tracking over your toes, that's great. If you're a little higher up, or a little higher up, that's fine as well. Let's drop back and down to our comfort level with that goblet squat. We're gonna have one pulse or one pause at the bottom. So one second here and then drive right back up to standing position, all right? Driving up through those heels, okay? Utilizing your quads and your hamstrings and your glutes to get back up to standing position. So slow and controlled movements for exercise number one with a goblet squat with a pulse, or I'm sorry, a pause at the bottom. So one second, and then right back up, okay? So really holding that little isometric hold at the bottom to really feel your activation in your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads as you extend back up. Second movement is gonna be a front raise and a lateral raise combo. So we can go into <clears throat> two dumbbells here. We are gonna have a nice strong stance, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. Once again, we have that front raise, so make sure our chest is up nice and proud. Those shoulders are rolled back, head is looking straight ahead. We have a front raise here, nice controlled movement. Control that weight right back down. And from here, palm is facing you into that lateral raise, making a nice strong T. Try to keep those elbows at a soft bend here. So forward raise and then lateral raise. If we just have 
one weight, one dumbbell. Maybe um, <clears throat> we do not have two, and or maybe your one dumbbell is too heavy. Let's do your front raise with a uh, hands on both sides of your dumbbell here. 20 seconds of a front raise and then go into your lateral raise. Try to go uh, <clears throat> 20 seconds front raise and then try to hit that lateral raise as well with single arms, okay? All right. <clears throat> Exercise number three, forward lunge with a twist. So grabbing uh, weight is included. Weight can be challenging for you as well, but we're gonna send to the back, extend to the back of our workout space here. We're gonna lunge forward. So that front lunge here, you wanna make sure that your knees track over the front of your toes as you drop down into that 90 degree bend here, okay? Nice, comfortable level here. From here, we are going to extend with a small twist, so like 45 degree, that chest and that head is going to twist uh, in, the up, in the direction that your forward leg is leaning towards. So from the back of your workout space, forward lunge, small twist here, back to standing position, forward lunge, and then a small twist. With that twist, that's allowing us to focus in on focus on balance, on stabilization by engaging our core. And then also with that twist, we're going to activate that core and those ob obliques as well on your left side and your right side to challenge us as well, okay? That's gonna be exercise number three, forward lunge with a twist. Exercise number four, we are on deck here. We like to target our core here, just the same with 10 mountain climbers, but not only that, we have two push-ups. So the rep count is 10 and two, 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups for 40 seconds of work. So with those 10 mountain climbers, our hands are gonna stack underneath our shoulders for the most support. So hands underneath elbows, elbows underneath shoulders. High plank position here, back is flat, head is in that neutral position. So you're looking straight down, okay? Feet shoulder width apart. We are gonna drive those knees to our chest, extending all the way up and all the way back to your comfort level as well and to your pace. All right, from here, out of those 10 mountain climbers, we're gonna go down into two push-ups. Two push-ups and then back into those 10 mountain climbers, okay? If we need to re <clears throat> regress, let's drop down on our knees for those two push-ups to give ourselves that option of comfortability, okay? And with those mountain climbers, if we need to regress as well, let's go and hold that high plank for 10 seconds, okay? Try to high hold that high plank for 10 seconds. And then if we need to digress as well, regress, let's drop down to our knees as well for those 10 uh, seconds worth of, of work on core and then go into your two push-ups. So 10 seconds and two push-ups. That should give you two rounds of each. Okay, that's gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for each one of those. How does that sound, team? How does that sound? Good, let me refresh my page here. Welcome in, welcome in. Jerome, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? All right, absolutely. And as I go through these movements, I'll go ahead and call out a lot of great form tips. That way you can take away and execute to the best of your ability here. But welcome, welcome to BeFit Live. We will get started with some dynamic stretching right now and then we move into our workout. All right, grab that towel, grab that water once again. I'm gonna grab a quick drink and then we'll jump in. Mm. <clears throat> Sergeant Barry, how are you doing? You ready to go here? I am. I'm good. <laughs> okay. My, my cat here is ready too. <laughs> Fantastic. We always like when our pets join us for our BFit lives. Perfect. Okay. Let's start off with some dynamic stretching here. Let's get the ball rolling with some dynamic stretching. Let's go ahead and reach with that right foot back. That left arm goes straight ahead. We're working with a dynamic quad stretch here. All right. Really focusing on pushing those hips forward. Feeling that stretch in our quad and as well as our shoulder with that arm that extends all the way up. Okay, to height as high as you can here, push that arm forward. I mean, sorry, up and those hips forward. All right, here we go. We're gonna do about 30 seconds worth of work for each one of these dynamic stretches. And then we will move on to the next. So let's go at our own pace. If you need to sit in a little longer on one of these stretches, let's do it. All right, now's a great time to scan your body and really focus <clears throat> on where you may be tight. Lateral lunge coming up here. So take a nice wide stance here. Feet are fixed forward. We are going to shift our weight over to our right and then over to our left. Really thinking about that stretch in your inner thigh. Good. Should feel some blood flow. Feeling 
and really starting to move down to our lower body. Good, nice and controlled here. <clears throat> All right, if we are sore, this would be a great time to focus on any areas that are tight for today. <laughs> All right, reverse lunge with a reach. Coming up next, top of our workout space, we're gonna take one leg, we are going to extend it back and into that reverse lunge. Hands come together overhead and reaching to the side that our lead leg is at. Good, right back to center, right back to standing. Alternate legs here, arms come together. Nice controlled reach and then right back to center. It's so about three more of these here. at your own pace here. Good, good. BFit Nation, how are we doing? If you're just joining us, welcome. We're just running through some dynamic stretches here real quick before we jump into our workout. Don't lose it here. <laughs> good, one more here. All right, team, all right. Legs are feeling tight today. Let's go into some hip circles here. Backwards and forward on our right leg, backwards and forwards on our left. All right, think about those nice big circles here, really trying to open up our hips. Good, good, try to keep that torso relatively forward here. <clears throat> good, hands are up, really working through those hips. Good, last three, two, last rep here. All right, last and finally, let's go into some YTWs here, just for some mid to upper back and some shoulder warmups. Uh, that way we can get ready for those front raise, lateral raises and the mountain climbers. So with those big arms here, we're gonna come to center here, nice strong stance. We're gonna make a big Y with our arms, reaching as high as we can up back to center here. Nice strong T to the left and to the right. You should feel your shoulder blades coming back. Your traps coming together as well, back to center and a big W here. Once again, really feeling the anterior work of your delts, front of your shoulders here, big Y, rear, rear delts. T, nice and strong and that W, good, pausing at the top. One more time, big Y to round us out, big T. There you go. And the last big W. All right, good job team, way to go. Way to finish it out. I hope you are all warmed up. Let's grab some water real quick and we will jump into the workout. I'm gonna start my timer. All right, Sergeant Barry, I think we are good to go. All right, 10 seconds here just to recap. Exercise number one, movement number one, goblet squat with a pulse. All right. Number two, front raise and lateral raise. Number three, forward lunge with a twist. And number four, 10 mountain climbers, and then two push ups as a rep count to finish out our 40 seconds of work. So 10 seconds on the clock here, goblet squat with a pause at the bottom. Grab your weight of choice if it's one dumbbell or two, front rack here or single rack. And two, one, feet are together. I'm sorry, shoulder width apart here. We're dropping down to our comfort level, pausing at the bottom, and then extending right back up to standing position, okay? Those knees are tracking over your toes. So you wanna make sure to sit back into that imaginary chair. Chest is up, head is looking straight ahead here. 20 seconds left, okay? 20 seconds left, halfway there, 16. Good, really think about inhaling on the way down holding that, contracting that core, and then exhaling on the way up. Last five. Add in three, two, one, and time. 40 seconds, 20 seconds of rest here, and then we are into a front raise and lateral raise combo. All right, team. Front raise and lateral raise. So think about a lighter weight here for your shoulders or a front raise and lateral raise. All right, two, one, here we go, team. Nice, strong stance here, feet shoulder width apart. Control this movement here. We wanna think about controlled form. 
we have a front raise going up right around our chin level and then we are going into that lateral raise good really focusing on the muscle groups that we're working here for today so our anterior delts which is the front of our shoulder and our shoulder head top part of our head last 10 seconds here out in five last three two one all right 20 seconds of rest here and we have a forward lunge with a twist think about the back of your area here and think about holding on to that dumbbell if you choose all right forward lunge here with a twist coming up in seven seconds all right grab that breath catch that breath three two one back of your area here forward lunge twisting to that lead leg side and then back to standing position really driving through that front heel good good really sitting into that forward lunge here if we want to eliminate that twist let's go ahead and do that and if we need to modify let's cat let's go into that forward lunge maybe we are holding on to a chair maybe we're guiding ourselves down with a wall all right last five seconds here out in three two one and time all right team forward lunge with a twist is done 40 seconds of work here for 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups okay this will get our heart rate elevated before we get into that 60 seconds of work or rest rather <laughs> all right team up in three two one ten and two is the rep count here ten in total out of those ten mountain climbers reset yourself here we have two push-ups and then we're back into ten mountain climbers all right good making sure our back is flat our hips are square to the floor here let's go to our own tempo our own comfort level we need to scale back let's drop to our knees let's hold that plank last eight seconds out in five last three two one and time good job good job team Let me go ahead and take this off here <laughs> good work 60 seconds of rest here and then we're backing it to round number two backing it for round number two how are we feeling how are we doing bfit nation all right, Stacy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go. <laughs> That's absolutely right. Nothing to it but to do it. All right, from Luke Air Force Base. <laughs> welcome in. How are we doing after round number one? Stay hydrated here, stay hydrated. Again, once again, if you're just joining us, welcome to our BFIT Live program. We have three more rounds to accomplish here to end out our workout, our live workout here. Today, we're focusing on resistance based movements. Okay, so if we have any dumbbells, let's go ahead and grab them. All right, think about controlled movements here. We are up in five for a goblet squat with a pulse. Pause at the bottom. Pulse, pause. Here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Down, pause, drive back up through our heels. Think about that breath. Exhaling as you drive up through your heels. Really think about your quads being engaged. Chest is up, nice and proud. Shoulders are rolled back. Elbows are just underneath the dumbbell for the most support. Good. Last seven seconds. Good. Nice control here. Out in three, two, last rep and time. Good job, team. Good job. 20 seconds of rest here. And we have those front raises and that lateral raise, lateral raises. I know, I know this may not be as much of a plyo jump as we are used to, but nonetheless, that here you go 40 seconds of work here, front raise and lateral raise movements here. But with limited rest, it really keeps our heart rate elevated. Think about those muscle fibers your muscles that are still working long after this workout is over with. So you're still gonna burn calories. <sighs> nice controlled movements here. Out in 13, good. 
Good, nice strong stance once again. We need to take a split stance, kind of help with stability. Let's do it. Out in three, two, one, and time. How are those shoulders feeling? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're awake. <laughs> All right, nice isolation movement there. All right, okay. Forward lunge with a twist coming up in five seconds. If you have a weighted ball, like a med ball here, a medicine ball, this would be a great opportunity to use this with your front lunge and then into a twist for 40 seconds. Here we go. Nice controlled movement here. Good, really sit into that forward lunge. Really drive back to that front heel. Good, how is your pace? Think about your pace here. Is it faster? We can definitely increase the tempo if we're there. Last eight seconds here. Round number two. Out in three seconds, two, one, and time. Good job, good job. That little extra twist goes a long way here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, 10 mountain climbers and two push ups coming up for exercise number four. All right, catch your breath here. We are up in two seconds. One, here we go 10 mountain climbers and two push ups. Keeping that core nice and tight. That back is flat. Your hips are square to the floor. Reset yourself after those mountain climbers into your push ups. Think about sucking in that navel back towards your spine. There we go. Hands are underneath shoulders or just outside. Elbows are tucked in as we go down into that push up. Last five seconds, three, two, one, and time. 60 seconds here. <laughs> 60 seconds. There we go, there we go. Sergeant Barry, I know you said you were a little sore right before we started. Are we loosening up? How are we feeling? I know some of our watchers, some of our viewers may be sore as well going into today's workout, starting off our Monday, but this is how we get through it. We're really working out that body, flushing out that body, getting that body moving once again to start off the week. Good. All right, let's work on gathering our breath here 18 seconds here 17 and we are back to standing with a goblet squat and i pause at the bottom out in 10 up in 10. here we go team five seconds here let's set ourselves three two one here we go goblet squat pausing at the bottom standing back up to standing position Think about controlling yourself on the way down. One second down, one second pause, one second on the way up. Little timing under tension here. Time under tension. Really forcing our muscle fibers. Working on strength with that pause. Last eight seconds here. Out in five. Last three, two, one and last rep, good job. All right. We have two dumbbells. Think about holding two dumbbells for the last and final round. 10 seconds here, we have a front raise and lateral raise. <clears throat> All right, team, here we go. We are up in four seconds. Dumbbells are to the left and the right of us, palms facing each other. All right, here we go. Nice controlled movements. Once again, let's keep that chest up nice and proud. Keep those shoulders rolled back here. Try not to cave forward, relax. Keeping those shoulders back. Nice strong stance here. The wider your foot base is, shoulder width apart, the more stability you will have. <sighs> Don't forget about our breathing as well. Good, Sergeant Barry, you're looking good over there. Thank you, thank you. Trying. <laughs> Last two, one, and time. Good job. Way to finish that one out. Way to finish that one out. 
All right, staying with two dumbbells, staying with one dumbbell, scaling up on your weight, forward lunge with a twist coming up in 10 seconds. Again, I'm gonna demo with work with the med ball here. This is a weighted 10 pound ball. All right, here you go. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work team forward lunge with that small 45 degree lunge twist, making sure our head and our torso go with that twist angle, okay? All right, making sure we're rotating that torso slightly, keeping our core nice and tight with that twist. All right, we're twisting with the purpose here, lunging, dropping back into that lunge. 12 seconds here. Good. Think about that 90 degree bend on our leg as we lunge forward. Out in three seconds, two, one, time. 20 seconds of rest here, good job. Good job, way to finish that one out. 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. all right? We are gonna round out round number three with a 10 and two rep count. Climbers and push-ups coming up in three seconds. We are on deck, hands underneath, shoulders. Two, one, let's drive. Good job, good job. Stay with it, team, stay with it. 10 and two. Good job, hold it. Hands underneath shoulders. Back is flat, hips are square. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, last push up and time. <laughs> Good job, round of applause for that one. Round of applause for that one, team. That one wasn't easy. We scaled up in our weight as we progress. A little progressive overload here through our rounds. Way to go, way to go, way to challenge yourselves. Stay hydrated, okay? Grab that water, grab that towel. All right, team, stay with us here, stay with us. I know things can be challenging. 30 seconds left, catch our breath. It doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us, team. Working on starting that Monday nice and strong. We're gonna set the tone for the week here. All right, 10 seconds here. 10 seconds and we're going into our last and final round. Last and final round here. All right, three seconds here, grabbing that dumbbell, grabbing that weight, either two dumbbells or one. Goblet squat, pause at the bottom, drive right back up to standing position. Really activating your glutes back at standing position here. Good. Nice controlled movements. Good. Nice control down, Sergeant Barry. Good job. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhaling as you come back up to standing position. 12 seconds here. Good. Out in five seconds here. Last three, two, one, and time. You won't see those again. Team front raise and lateral raise coming up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Stay with us. Stay with us here. All right. All right. Let's get it, team. Five seconds here. Front raise and lateral raise. Here we go. Two, one, palms facing you into that front raise, control that movement, anterior delts, your front of your shoulders are gonna be working with that front raise. Make sure you're focused on breathing as well. Nice strong stance here, soft bend on our knees, really absorbing that weight and that force on our knees with that soft bend. Good. Palms facing you for that lateral raise, palms facing the floor as we go into those. <laughs> lateral raises all right last five seconds team three and out two one and time good job let's put those away we won't see that one again <laughs> halfway there last round last round best round five Indeed. seconds here all right three forward lunge with a twist coming up two one here we go, team, forward lunge. 
Nice, comfortable twist here. Core tight and engaged. Forward lunge. Good, drop that weight back, drop those hips back. Sit into that forward lunge. Drive back up through that front heel. Good, really focusing on our stability here, our balance into that forward lunge. Last 12 seconds. Here we go, team. Finish it out nice and strong. Stay with us, BFit Nation. Add in five seconds. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we're into our final movement for today. Love about that forward lunge is it's really working our glutes, really forcing us to open up on our hips as we drop down, all right? Pulling from a lot of lower body movement. Five seconds here, 10 mountain climbers, two push-ups to round this out. Here we go, team. Two, one, high plank position. 10 and two, here we go. Good. Think about driving those knees up with a purpose, keeping our core nice and tight. Nice, strong push-up. Good, each of these movements, we're completing with the purpose here. Keep it up, keep it up. Good. Last 10 seconds, finish this out. Nice and strong, stay with us. We need to regress. Let's do it off of our knees, but stay with us. Out in three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Good job, good job, BFit Nation. Good job, team, good job. As always, good work, good work today. If you showed up today, if you gave us all of your effort, maybe even half of your effort, if we were feeling half, all right, good job. The hardest part is just showing up, okay? But really focusing on the muscle groups and the movements that we are doing today to really focus on our strengthening of those specific muscle groups as I catch my breath here. <laughs> I know there weren't too many plyo jumps, but each workout has its own purpose. And today we are just focusing on specific muscle groups, a lot of lower body, and then some upper body movements with the push-ups, with our shoulders, all right? Even our back with those push-ups, all right? We're really looking to engage that full body workout in a strength in a strength angle. <laughs> all right, now's a great time to stretch out. All right, really focus on bringing your breath right back down. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing with today's workout? Yeah, really good. Um, you actually stole my sentiment because I was thinking, I was kind of like really not dreading the workout, but I was a little anxious because I'm sore, but I'm showing up really is, is the hardest part. So super glad I showed up and I feel good now. And we're gonna stretch extra long after we're done and it was good. <laughs> Fantastic. I know, I know team. I know it, it can be tough sometimes just to get going. It can be tough to get out of bed sometimes. It can be tough to think about that workout, but we're here to help. We're here to guide you. We're here to take all the guesswork out of, out of your workout. And if you follow along with us, as long as you put in the effort here, we will go a long way week after week. And again, if you're looking for any additional videos, any additional workouts, you can find them on our Facebook page below. If you search playlists under our Facebook uh, exchange uh, page and then search for or scroll down to be fit and all of our workouts are cataloged uh, right there within Facebook. So that way you can just click and go, click and go, turn and burn, burn those calories. All right. Strengthening ourselves. Uh, it could be resistance training. It could be cardio based movements, or it could be a hybrid of both that we offer, but uh, each one of them are there uh, at below, as well as our YouTube page at Shop My Exchange. All right, well team, I hope you had a great workout. All right, I hope you put in the work today. It's all about putting in your max effort, wherever that may be, and following your comfort level as well. All right, a lot of these movements are just uh, all about um, comfort, but it's also about challenging yourself and you know, completing it with the right form. That's what we care most about is form, 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 form. So we want to guide you through uh, at whichever pace you're at, but making sure that we are strengthening ourselves injury-free week after week, okay? So from our BFIT program, all right, and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry, uh, we are signing off for today, team, all right? Stay ready, stay resilient, and let's stay fit, team. Bye, guys. <laughs>